one goal, uh, and that's to put South Sudan out there in the map. Um, again, uh, I'm very happy to be home. I, the, the welcoming is amazing. Uh, we'll continue to do our part, uh, but I want to thank you all for being out here today. I know this is a quick statement, there's a lot to say, but I wanted to really share that and I allow the minister to have a few words with you guys. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Captain Lowell. Uh, first of all, it's my great privilege to be here in this uh, public reception at Juba International Airport. As the Minister of Sport, I'm very proud of my team, the Bride Star, starting from the captain of the national team, Quine Quine, all the players, the administration, Comrade Lul, Lul Deng, for the great work they have done. When we were in Manila, people of the world started knowing where is South Sudan and what South Sudanese can do. And this is what the Serbian coach said that you guys have a good and a strong Brazilian players, but only we are lacking experience. I told him this is our first trial and our first, first participation. So we are, as Captain put it, we are going to be there all the time. Now we have qualified to the Paris Olympic Games 2024. It's a very great achievement. We are the only East African country that made it to the World Cup since the independence of all the East African countries. This is very important. We are only 11 years old. Some countries are 70 or 60 something years old. So it's a great privilege to all of us as the people of South Sudan. I want to thank His Excellency, the President of the Republic, who is the patron of his sport, for his continuous support from day one. During our participation in the qualification games, the President has been supporting the team and the ministry and also the leadership of the country when I presented the budget for the National Assembly, for the, for the National Ministry of uh, Cabinet, it was unanimously uh, approved. So I'm very proud of the work also the parliamentarians are doing. Here is the Honorable Guy, who is the chair of a specialized committee for youth and sport, and he was with us in, the, in, the, in, the, in Manila. These are the people who will now fight for us to have more resources, to have more money, because the sport without money cannot go anywhere. We are lacking the sport infrastructure. We are lacking the support to our team. So this is the beginning. So I want to tell the young people of South Sudan that we are capable to win even the, Afri the upcoming African Cup of Nation in the basket and the upcoming uh, Olympic Games. It is our time now. We want to put the team together, going for camping earlier before Paris uh, Olympic Games. And I want to thank all the media houses for being generous enough and being concerned and keen to, to by, by, by capturing all the events of the World Cup. And, 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 and what you did in, the, in Juba was amazing. I've been following how people dance in Konyo Konyo market, how people dance in Nimrtalata, how people dance in Budeli. And this is the work of the media. Let us focus on the positive side in our country. We are born, the Republic of South Sudan is born to remain. And you remember the, 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 the great giant teams that we have conquered. We are resilient people. If we leave the violent and we focus on the sport, we will reach the sky. So I don't want to speak much. I want to leave the parliamentarian to say a word on the behalf of the people who went from the parliament to Manila. So, Comrade Guy, you are welcome to say a word. Thank you very much.